If it was a news magazine, there'd be no fuss. But this is an iconic music magazine, and there is. Critics of Rolling Stone in the United States say it's glamorizing Jock Arsenaev, the man accused of the Boston bombings. Do I really heroize this guy? He's just a, he's a terrorist. We don't want him on our on on neighborhoods. We don't want him on magazines. We don't want him anywhere. It's three months since the bombings at the Boston Marathon. An eight-year-old boy was among the three people killed. 260 were injured. 19-year-old Sanayev denies all charges, while Rolling Stone denies treating him like a rock star. The magazine defends its decision in this statement. Our hearts go out to the victims of the Boston Marathon bombing, and our thoughts are always with them and their families. The cover story we are publishing this week falls within the traditions of journalism and Rolling Stone's long-standing commitment to serious and thoughtful coverage of the most important political and cultural issues of our day. Several chains of shops are boycotting the magazine, and for those rushing to judgment, there is only one place to rush. Twitter. Boston band the Dropkick Murphys said, Rolling Stone, you should be ashamed. How about one of the courageous victims on your cover instead of this loser scumbag? And Kelly Osborne tweeted, The Boston bomber is a murderer, not a band, and has no place being on the cover of Rolling Stone. While Piers Morgan pointed out the actual Rolling Stone report into the Boston Marathon bomber is superb and important journalism. It is worth remembering Sanayev is innocent until proven guilty, but many have already convicted the magazine of a gross error of judgment. Simon Viger, 5 News.